Hi, I'm Robert. I come to you as an automobile enthusiast that has maintained, serviced, and repaired my own vehicles in excess of 30 years. I currently drive a car with over 230,000 miles on it, and I once had a car that had over 400,000 miles on it and ran very well. While you're watching the video, please watch a step or two ahead. Sometime the current step is better explained in the next step or two. Also, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you benefit from the information. A friend of mine has this Mazda CX-9, the uh, stereo in it, the CD changer got jammed. So we got on eBay and just shopped and shopped and shopped till we found one with a decent price. Seems like the going price for them is about $220. Uh, but I've heard of places you can mail them off to to get them fixed for $100. bucks. we are just going to replace this one with a used unit. Hopefully it works out fine for us. The only tool I needed to replace this stereo in this Mazda CX-9 is a nice standard Phillips screwdriver. You want to go ahead and set the parking brake because you'll have to put this car in neutral uh, to get this center console stuff apart. Anytime you're fooling around with electronic stuff, it's normally best to disconnect the battery. I'm just going to go ahead and not disconnect the battery and tear into it see if I remember everything I had to take off on it but the first things I remember doing was pulling the trims off on the side this is some high gloss stuff you don't want to scratch it up so I, I gripped the sides of this and pry it towards me to get it loose from the uh, center console area I pulled that stuff loose with my bare hands it doesn't sound good when it's coming loose but that's how the clips are they do lift off on both sides just set them aside next thing I'm gonna do is clear everything loose from this center console area uh, all the cups and stuff like that I think I got to take this panel here up by the shifter next thing I did is open the cup holder got my fingers under this and pop this up it's got clips it just lifts up so work that uh, panel up around the shifter to get this piece up and out of the way, it does have a wire connected to it for the light assembly. Go ahead and turn the key on, shift it into neutral, and lift that panel up over it. And you can see the piece down in the front of it, the rubber piece, and that little tray area comes with it. So turn the key on, put it in neutral, and uh, get that uh, piece off from over top of the shifter. Once you have it in neutral, go ahead and lift that stuff over top of it and just leave it laying to the side like that. Now you can go ahead and see the screw right there that needs to be removed from the at the bottom of the center console panel under the under the cigarette lighter. Once you have that screw out, go ahead and pop this uh, panel loose uh, from both sides and pull it out of the way it does have a wire connection to it so you'll need to disconnect that plug from the back of the cigarette lighter that plug just had a little tab at the top you squeeze in to get that cigarette lighter thing unplugged now I'm gonna take this screw loose from here and from the other side there those two top screws after you have those two top screws loose grab the bottom of this center console area and with two hands and pull it up towards you it has some pretty strong clips and it'll sound bad but they do come up once you get the bottom clips free uh, up toward the front then you pull the whole thing towards you and pull the top of it towards you and the top will come loose so now you have this whole big unit here kind of out of the way or free so now you can get at the radio screws now you can go ahead and unplug these plugs to get this set totally out of the way or you can go ahead and pull the screws for the radio so that you can take the radio out either way i'm gonna go ahead and unplug it because i don't like things hanging by the wires okay i had three connections at the bottom where the heat and air controls are and one plug in up top now i'm gonna shift the car and park and remove the key 
I just don't like uh, the car being on and the key being in the ignition when I'm unplugging the electronic and electrical stuff. Go ahead and remove the four screws that hold the radio in. And after you get that out, you should be able to pull it out and unplug it from the back. The thing you want to do is get a good grip on the antenna wire. Try not to damage that. And then uh, lift it up where you can see how to plug. It's easy to see the, ra the tabs for the radio connections from the bottom. So you just push in the tabs and pull them out. When you're hooking up the replacement radio or the radio back in, Make sure you push it in, the connectors in the back till you hear them click. And that goes for all the connections. Now I'm going to hook up the uh, antenna wire because I already plugged in the other two connectors. I'm going to feed the top piece in first and then snap it all the way in, all the way down to the bottom. Okay, when you're fitting this center, upper center console piece back together, First thing you want to do is make sure that you don't damage the top speaker with the uh, forward clips and probes that stick out. So be careful you don't do that. Then, of course, you plug in the hazard switch and the climate control. The hazard switch has one plug. The climate control has three. You plug those in. Now, when you're dealing with this climate control, uh, the hazard switch, the wires go in the middle of that piece you make sure you feed that wire down there because the unit doesn't want to go in if that wire is off to the side blocking the vents then you'll have to shift the car back in neutral so that the panel can fall down in place and then work it in from the top down to the bottom making sure all the clips are secure Okay, after it's in place, everything is flush and secure. Go ahead and install those upper two screws. When you want to uh, install that lower compartment there, plug in that outlet and then pop it in place and screw it down with the other remaining screw you have. After that's screwed in place, go ahead and put your uh, shifter panel back over the shifter. Make sure you get the leading in tucked in where it's supposed to be and snap that down in place okay after that's in place you can go ahead and put the vehicle back in park and uh, put those two side panels on they should just snap in place with the clips I think I start from the top and work my way down on them if you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.